So this file is the NACA four digit inch file. So here in the assembly navigator, this symbol tells me it's a product template. So if you right click edit reusable component, you get this nice little UI. Um, the cord length can be anything. So 20.12345, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna make it a nice round number of 20. So the max camber, the, the amount of max camber is a variable that needs to go in 0.01 increments. So 03, 04, 05. I built that into the template, but in reality, when you do this with heed, you're gonna to need to control that um, as 01 increments from zero to 09. The position of the max camber is 0.1 increments, so it, it can move. And the way the, the um, designation works is this number, the 03, translates to that first digit 3, the 0.4 translates to that second digit 4, and then the percent thickness, if I change it to 0.14, you see that that becomes uh, that final, uh, final two digits. So one digits, one digit, and then two digits. So the final thing is uh, open the trailing edge. Um, this one will not update automatically. You have to hit apply to commit that. So in theory, you can get by with a knife edge, but in practicality, you can't. So if you just turn that option on, it gives you a non-knife edge there. Uh, okay, so those are the variables. And let's go look at it uh, in NX. If I use tools, expressions, tools, expressions, which is a control E, here are the variables you can change. There's the chord length, um, 20.123. And then you have to hit apply to get these to update. I'm gonna put that back to a nice round number, 20, and apply to get it to update. So the max camber is currently 03. If I make it 05 and then hit apply, whoops. 05 and then hit apply. You see it, it does it and there's the, the five digit. So I'll put that back to an 02. The, um, let's see, M, oh, there's P. There's P, the position of the max camber, I'll make that 0.1. And then the thickness, I'll make it 0.16. So there's 2116, there's your definition. I'll make the position of the max camber back to 0.4. And if you want to make it symmetric, just set the M down to zero. And now it's a symmetric airfoil. Uh, the open trailing edge, it's currently false, but if you set it to true, then you get that little open trailing edge there. Okay, so that's how you work with the model, um, either interactively or via the dialog. I'm gonna put it back to a 2412. Oh, no, sorry, 24. 12 airfoil.